like there's a lot of brave people in this movement right now. You can see that are just highlighted amongst all. And you can see that a lot of people, they have no fear. They don't care what big tech has to think, what the typical GOP or the establishment or Democrats, of course, the whole entire left as I'm speaking of, but they don't care. There is a certain amount of people, a small few, that are ready to, I would say, pretty much do anything for this movement. And what is the movement? What is the movement? Okay. I mean, it's not just about conservatism or freedom of speech or like protecting the constitution, being a constitutionalist, all that. No. Right now, what I believe that the movement is about is about you know, highlighting what is happening and, you know, showing proof of what's happening with all the censorship that's going on with our, you know, First Amendment or Second Amendment being toyed with by people that don't care, that see us like numbers. They have big dollar signs in their eyes and they don't care. They don't see us as individuals. That's what we're dealing with. Something much bigger than anything you could probably even imagine. Now, because of what's happening, it's finally affected Michelle Malkin, unfortunately, and she got fired from her job. She is working with YAF. If you don't know what YAF is, it is Young America's Foundation, very similar to Turning Point USA, if you even know what that is. Turning Point USA is a conservative group mainly on college campuses. I, I'm pretty sure that they only really do stuff to do with colleges, but I'm not sure if they do anything else to do with that in regards to anything else political. They're very common on colleges. They have, you know, a lot going on there and they're very spread out. I would say same with uh, YAF and everything like that too. So you have um, two major different like corporation companies that are on campus that are communicating with a lot of different students having a lot of different students participate in politics well apparently yaf being a very big you know part of college discussion at least politically they decided to you know completely fire michelle malkin why why did they fire her is because over her immigration speech that she had lately she was, you know, a little bit more anti-immigration, not completely, but she just wanted to have things restricted. And of course, they had to take it to the next level and say she's being anti-immigration, yada yada, and they banned her. They got so mad. They didn't even ban her. I mean, they fired her. They fired her from the company, and apparently, they didn't like that. So, what does that tell you? what their real true values are, apparently they don't really have that many values and they just want to get rid of whoever can't make them as much money. They see dollar signs in their eyes. But to be honest, it gets a little bit weirder than them just saying, okay, we're done with Michelle Malkin. So basically Michelle Malkin, she said a lot of good things about Nick Fuentes or she said that she supported Nick Fuentes one or the other, right? She is in support of Nick Fuentes, okay, in America first. They did not like that, I guess, because all of a sudden I think that she got fired for that reason. So, okay. There's a lot of different drama that was going on with Nick Fuentes in America first. It was happening with Charlie Kirk and Turning Point USA. Then this happened to Michelle Malcolm. But the reason why I think that this can almost certainly be related is because right after she was fired from YAF and after they said that they were done with her, they didn't want to have anything to do with her, all that stuff, then you see a lot of people from Daily Wire, like Michael Moore and, you know, all those kind of people, they start targeting different conservatives that are for Michelle Malcolm, that are on her side, that are for freedom of speech, that are literally, like, just like me, like, we want to just speak online freely, like, not the biggest deal if you don't mind, we just want to speak freely, but yeah, a lot of people, they have a big issue with this, and they want to make it impossible for you so they can make every single dollar online and control what you say. 
because apparently it's not a law yet they don't have any certain rights online like we do in the real world if you don't believe me about nick fuentes and about michelle malkin then maybe just maybe you'll believe me from this story so after all this happened with michelle malcolm you know having this issue with conservative ink with having to deal with yf just basically saying you know we're gonna treat you however we want we're gonna act like we're really good people but treat you you know so down to the ground i mean they were doing that and you know guess what so you had caitlin bennett Yes, of course, Caitlyn Bennett, she went out and she went to go ask a few different questions and what's going on with all of this different issues with Michelle and with, you know, people like Nick and stuff like that. And like, she's starting to ask questions at a different event where YAF was at and guess what they did? They called the cops on her and they had the cops escort her out. They literally called the cops on her. Like how pathetic organizations and companies like yf or turning point usa they act like they're there for you they do and if you're a college student i bet you're like oh my gosh i want to be a part of turning point usa or yf and all that and that's okay that's okay if you want to that's good but just realize that they don't actually protect freedom of speech like they claim to if they're going to say that they're going to do something and they're going to stand up for something and then they completely ignore what they're saying and they ignore their whole entire beliefs and all that and just because they want to make an extra buck against independent creators, I mean, that is wrong. Where do you draw the line? Do you just say that Turning Point USA... Uh, the different cable news companies, the different, like, organizations, just bigger organizations can always do what they want, always have the upper hand, and I think that that time is, you know, honestly coming to an end. First, let's break this down into something that should be almost related to common sense, but hey, it's something to talk about. Okay. So you have YF and you have Turning Point USA. They claim to represent freedom of speech, to represent the Constitution, what it stands for in America. So, okay, what is they, what are they not doing? They're not actually standing up for America when they ban conservatives that are protecting freedom of speech, that are protecting the Constitution, and they're banning them. They're banning them at events that they can be talking about these issues and they can be actually a good cause, a good part of it. But instead, they want to ban them. You know why? Because they are scared of the competition. They see life as a competition. They're scared of it and they do not want any of it. They want to hog all the money. It's all about money. It's not about the movement. There are people that care about the movement. And there are people that care about the money. Make up your mind, make up your choice. I mean, seriously, it's not that hard. Are you gonna care about your country? Like really, like people, they don't care anymore. It just shows you how the society is shifting. You see, Caitlin Bennett, she's been kicked out of a different event for Bernie Sanders. Now, she's kicked out of a Republican event. Don't you see, like, okay, we do have freedom of speech in this country. We can choose who we want, who we don't want to be a part of our business. I mean, technically, right? Unless you're baking a cake and someone wants to sue you about five times. But, yeah, I mean, unless it's that, you pretty much have your own rights. And the reason why Charlie Kirk and different people like Ben Shapiro, owners of the Daily Wire, people that own companies that are mainstream, why they freak, why they have little fits and stuff like that is because they want to have control. At the end of the day, they want more and more control for their company to make more money for them, to have more power, and that's what they crave, that's what they want and what they desire.